Go to help you save. Teams from Illyria Catholic, Highland, and Lakewood compete on the Nordson Academic Challenge. All right, come on in, let's have some fun. Thank you so much for joining us as we celebrate the 54th season of the Nordson Academic Challenge. I'm your host, Rob Powers. The challenge of our show is the same as it's always been. Three local high school teams compete for points by answering questions in math, science, history, other topics as well. Let's hear it today for today's three teams again. Elyria Catholic, Highland, and Lakewood. Yeah. Every team this year will be playing for a chance to make it to our leaderboard. And at the end of the season, the top three teams will be back to play for the championship and a $6,000 grant from Nordson. We start this morning where we start every Saturday morning with the lightning round. All three teams compete in this round. We award 20 points for a correct answer. We will subtract 20 points for an incorrect or no answer. The match will start with 100 points for each team. Everybody set? Here we go. This round's all about animals, birds, insects, and fish that have names spelled with three letters. Three letters. Identify the following. This fish names a Massachusetts cape. Highland. Cod. That is correct. This gold insect titles an Edgar Allan Poe story. Answer is bug. This is the term for a male sheep. Hi Lakewood. You. Ram. Ram is the answer. Sacred to Athena, this bird is considered wise. Lakewood. Owl. Owl is correct. This ostrich-like bird is native to Australia. Highland. Emu. That is correct. This snake-like fish may have an electrical charge. Lakewood. Eel. That is correct. This domesticated ox is widely used in Central Asia. Highland. Yak. Yak is correct. In Alice in Wonderland, you meet this grinning chest fire animal. Cat. Illyria Catholic. Cat. Cat is correct. In an Aesop's fable, this animal wanted some grapes. Lakewood. Fox. Fox is correct. For our final lightning round question, we go to the Cleveland Animal Protective League. Here is the Senior Director of Development, Judy Hunter. Here at the Cleveland Animal Protective League, we find loving homes for homeless animals. Mostly we have dogs and cats, but you can also adopt what type of rodent with a three-letter name? What do you think, Highland? Rat. Rat is correct, and that is our opening round. Way to go, way to go. We'll be back with more of the Nordson Academic Challenge right after this. Nordson is honored to sponsor a program that celebrates academic excellence. We're a global industrial technology company with a long and proud history of giving back to the community where we live and work. We donate 5% of our U.S. pretax profits to charity every year. Over the past 30 years, the Nordson Corporation Foundation has donated more than $100 million and our employees have volunteered more than 100,000 hours. And now, we're pleased to support the legacy of Academic Challenge. Thank you all for watching, and the best of luck to all the participants. Welcome back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. If you'd like more information about any of the schools that appear this season, scan the QR code on your screen right now with your cell phone. That code will take you to news5cleveland.com's Academic Challenge page. We have links for all the schools that will appear on this season. All right, time now for hot picks. One at a time, I'll ask each team eight questions. Uh, correct response here is worth 20 points. No penalty here for a wrong answer. Any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive 25 bonus points. But before the questions, let's meet our players. Let's start at Elyria Catholic. Good morning, Andrew. You're the captain. Uh, hello, my name is Andrew Chinati. I'm involved in NHS and I run track and field. That is awesome. Good morning, Bryn. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I, I am the president of the robotics club and I'm also in the marching band. Busy, busy. Hi, Vito. Uh, I'm Vito Carino and uh, I'm involved in tennis and I'm from Oregon. Awesome. Awesome. Welcome this morning, all three of you, very much. Uh, let's go to Highlands Captain Joey. We have envelopes one, two, three, or four. Which would, 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 would you like? Three. Three. All right. Elyria Catholic, these questions just for you. All set? Here we go. The state motto of Alaska declares that the future will be found in what direction, which also ad identifies the star Polaris? North. That is correct. Most Civil War battles were fought in the South, but the Union victory at Gl Glorieta Pass occurred in what western state whose capital is Santa Fe? 
New Mexico. That is correct. Love's Labor's Lost contains one of Shakespeare's few references to what three-headed dog that guarded the gates of Hades in ancient myth? Cerberus. That is correct. Let's go to the monitor. Here's your science question. Which of these is the mineral that is the chief ore of lead? Galena. Galena is correct. In an 1895 ruling, the Supreme Court rejected what federal tax later established by the 16th Amendment to the Constitution? Stampage? Stamps? It's the income tax. Income tax, the answer. That's all right. We move on. The Secret Radical is the surprising subtitle of one biography of what author of Pride and Prejudice? Jane Austen. Jane Austen is correct. Back to the monitor. Here's your math question. Solve for X, giving your answer as an integer. Two to the tenth. Nine is the answer. Nine there. What New England senator sacrificed his political career by supporting the Compromise of 1850 in his now famous 7th of March speech? Smith. Daniel Webster. Daniel Webster. Nice job, Elyria Catholic. Good round. All righty. Our second team this morning comes to us from Highland. Joey, you are the captain. Welcome, sir. Hi, my name is Joey. I am a freshman here at Highland High School, and a few activities I'm involved in are speech and debate, robotics, and various bands. Awesome, that is great. Hi, Alex. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm a freshman at Highland High School, and I'm in various bands, and I play baseball. That's great. Katie, you're up. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a sophomore. I'm in various bands, robotics, and NHS. Well, welcome to all three of you. Thank you so much for being here. For your questions, we go to Lakewood's captain, Helenor. Helenor, one, two, or four? Um, four. Four? Sorry. I like it is a big answer here. Big question. All right, Highland, just for you. Set? Here we go. One of the most visible leaves in the world is the leaf of what tree that appears on the flag of Canada? Maple. That is correct. His friend Merlin may have taught him to pull rabbits out of hats, but pulling a sword from a stone proved more essential for what legendary British king? King Arthur. That is correct. In 1888, slavery was finally abolished in what large Portuguese-speaking country in South America? Brazil. That is correct. Let's go to the monitor. Here is your science question. Which of these identifies the process by which cartilage cells are replaced by bone cells as a child grows older? Ossification. That is correct. What profession practiced by the young George Washington would have enabled him to measure the distance from Mount Vernon to Valley Forge? Answer? Cartographer. He was a surveyor. Surveyor. Author Carol Capick's drama, R-U-R, introduced to the English language what Czech word meaning mechanical man? Cyborg. Robot. Robot is the answer. Let's go back to the monitor. Here's your math question. What is the average of these three expressions? X plus three. That is correct. At the dedication of the Lincoln Memorial in 1922, one of the speakers was the president of what Alabama Institute founded by Booker T. Washington? NAACP. Tuskegee. Tuskegee is the answer there. Highland, good round. All righty. Our third team this morning comes to us from Lakewood. Helenor, you are the captain. What do we need to know about Helenor? Um, I'm a senior. I play the flute, and I hope to attend Johns Hopkins University next year. Awesome. Hi, Sam. Good morning. Oh, hi. What can, what can you tell us about yourself? Uh, my name's Sam Thomas. I'm the only four-year member of the team, and uh, I do plays in drama club, and I'm an officer in that at my school. Good for you. I think Cliff's been here for four years, though, so <laughs> just kidding. Hi, Owen. How are you? Good. I'm Owen. Uh, I play guitar in the school band, and I'm a junior. Good for you. All right, for your questions, Lakewood, Andrew, you're the captain of Elyria Catholic. Envelopes one or two? Two. Two. All righty, Lakewood, here we go just for you. All set? Here we go. A book by Lerone Bennett, emphasizing the historical role of African Americans, is titled Before What Ship That Brought the Pilgrims Here in 1620? Mayflower. That is correct. 47 centuries ago, the Chinese emperor, Shen Nung, is said to have invented what medical technique 
that involves inserting small needles into a patient's body. Acupuncture. That is correct. General Winfield Scott gave a gift inscribed from the oldest to the greatest general. To what Civil War general, who later became our 18th president? Ulysses S. Grant. That is correct. To the monitor, here's your science question. If you took a Geiger counter on a prospecting trip, you might be looking for which of these, a naturally occurring element? Uranium. That is correct. The idea that whales and hippos are related is based partly on fossil evidence of what body structure that, in humans, has the stirrup and the cochlea bones. The ear. That is correct. Every man's life is a fairy tale written by God's fingers, said what Danish writer, whose own fingers, wrote such fairy tales as The Little, Little Mermaid? Hans Christian Andersen. That is correct. Back to the monitor. Here's your math question. What integer placed in the blank will make this expression a perfect square? 121. That is correct, and that was big. This is for the bonus points. What English general was named Governor General of India in 1786, even though five years earlier he had surrendered his troops to the Americans at Yorktown? Cornwallis. That is correct for the bonus points. There you go. And we'll be back with more academic excitement. It's coming up right after this. Welcome back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. Before we move on, let's check our scores right now. With 220 points, the team from Elyria Catholic right down the line. With 280 points, the team from Highland leading the way right now with 325 points is our team from Lakewood. All right, but teams, it's now time to go head to head once again. This is our picture perfect round. Each correct answer here is worth 20 points, but for a wrong answer or no answer, we take away 20 points. This is for all three teams, so hands on the buzzer. Eyes on the big monitor down in front. All set? Here we go. The iris gets its name from a Greek word for what natural, colorful phenomenon that sometimes appears in the sky following a storm. Lakewood. Rainbow. That is correct. This observation comes from what man? South Africa's first. Lakewood. Nelson Mandela. That is correct. In this 19th century painting, the Swiss army is arriving in what Swiss city? whose name is given to the conventions. Elyria Catholic. Geneva. That is correct. What is the x-intercept of the straight line whose equation is shown here? Highland. Negative five. That is correct. In 1813, naturalist John James Audubon watched for three days, the time it took for a huge flock of what now extinct pigeon to fly past. Lakewood. Passenger pigeon. That is correct. The fluoride of what element with atomic number 50? This compound is used in toothpaste and medicine. Lakewood. Fluorine or fluorite? That is correct. We, we have to take fluoride. It's tin or stannous fluoride, yes. This Paul Gauguin painting shows the House of Song on what South Pacific Island where Gauguin moved in 1891? Answer? Is Lakewood. Fiji. Tahiti. Tahiti is the answer there. You can find a list of Northeast Ohio's best bars in this issue of Cleveland Magazine, but they probably won't serve which type of alcohol used as an alternative fuel source for automobiles. Lakewood. Ethanol. Ethanol is correct. That's the end of that round. All right. That was a good one, too. Don't go anywhere. Our exciting grab bag round, which will determine today's winner. That's coming up after, of course, we mix it up. Stick around. Abby could help you save. All righty, welcome back, everybody. Let's check in with our advisors today from Elyria Catholic. Welcome, Michael Brown. From Highland, Andrew Duck and Tracy Goble. And from Lakewood High School, Autumn Saban and Karen Alton are here. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for bringing the kids. Let's get back to the game. It's time to mix it up now. One at a time, I ask each team six questions. A correct response here is worth 20 points. There's no penalty for a wrong answer, and any team answering all six questions correctly in this round receives 25 bonus points. Elyria Catholic, you're up first. All set? Here we go. I'll give you 20 points if you find here the hidden name of what Texas mission captured by Mexican forces in 1836. There's a word hidden in there. 
Answer? Alamo. Alamo is correct, yes. A waiter who received a very small tip might refer to it by which of these words? Pittance. Pittance is correct, yes. If you move each of these letters back one space in the alphabet, you'll name what European country whose capital is Vienna? Austria. That is correct. The chemical symbol for phosphorus begins the name of what other element? The highly radioactive substance needed to make nuclear weapons. Plutonium. That is correct. Of these three languages, which one goes back furthest in recorded history? Sumerian. That is correct. That was big. This is for the bonus points. This point of view was expressed by what Italian writer who titled his political masterwork, The Prince? Machiavelli. Machiavelli is correct for the bonus points, Illyria Catholic. All righty. Just that easy, Highland. All set? Here we go. These are just for you. See if you can find in this tasty phrase the name of what 10th century Norwegian navigator usually referred to as the Red. Answer? Eric. Eric is hidden in there somewhere. Okay. If a mystery writer needed to learn about various poisons, he or she would best contact which of these experts? Toxologist. Toxicologist, yes, that's right. If you move back each letter here, one place in the alphabet, you can name what Canadian province whose largest city is Calgary? Answer is Alberta. Alberta. Take a close look here. Fill in the blanks to name the sensory membrane lining the inner eye sensitive to light. Retina. That is correct. If you were describing the shape of the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C., which of these terms would you use? Obelisk. That is correct. This was the complaint of what 4th century B.C. Macedonian conqueror who died at the age of 33 after conquering much of Asia? Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great is correct. Way to go, Highland. Nice round. All righty. Lakewood, all set? Just for you, here we go. Hidden in this sentence is the name of what biblical tower that was supposed to reach heaven? Babel. That is correct. If you saw a movie that was overly sentimental, you could best describe the film with which of these adjectives? Maudlin. That is correct. Move each of these letters back one step in the alphabet. You'll name what South American country whose capital is Quito? Ecuador. That is correct. Fill in the blanks here to name what halogen element often used by campers in the form of tablets or crystals to disinfect water? Iodine. That is correct. It wasn't until the 17th century that astronomer Johann Kepler deduced that the orbits of the planets around the sun follow which of these paths? Elliptical. That is correct, and that was big. This is for the bonus points. So said what World War II British Prime Minister who wrote a multi-volume history of the Second World War? Churchill. Winston Churchill is correct for the bonus points. There we go. That is around. We'll be back with our final and deciding grab bag round. That's coming up right after this. All right, here we go. Welcome back to the Norton Academic Challenge. Before we continue, let's recap the scores right now. Let's take a look. In third place, 380 points, Highland. Second place, 385 points, Illyria Catholic. Leading the way right now, 550 points is the team from Lakewood. But hold on. Now it's time for the grab bag round. In this free for all, every correct answer here is worth 30 points. A team will lose 30 points for a wrong or no answer. Again, this is for all three teams. Hands on the buzzer, eyes on the monitor when we need it. All set? Here we go. If you're tired of art museums, there's a museum of bobbleheads in what largest Wisconsin city? Lakewood. Milwaukee. That is correct. A quick Google search will tell you that the slowest mammal on earth is what S initialed animal who's liquid? Snail. Sloth. Sloth is the answer. Before he became involved in family problems, Oedipus had solved the riddle posed by what mythical beast? Liquid. Sphinx. Sphinx is correct. This aircraft carrier is named for what French prime minister who represented France at the 19... Illyria Catholic. De Gaulle. Clemenceau is the answer. Clemenceau. 
Unable to pay her electric bill, poet Glendalyn Brooks was sitting in the dark in 1950 when she heard she'd won what literary prize named for a... Pulitzer. Lake Pulitzer is correct. Choice. As the wavelength of sound in a given medium is decreased, does the pitch increase, decrease, or remain the same? Lakewood. Decrease. Increase. Increase. The price was $10 million when the United States made what 1853 land purchase? Lakewood. Louisiana purchase? Gadsden purchase. Gadsden purpose. Winston Churchill made this comment about what German general nicknamed the Desert Fox. Leary Catholic. Rommel? Rommel is correct. A buffalo named Black Diamond was the model for the buffalo once displayed on U.S. coins of what de denomination? Nickel. Lakewood. Pardon me? Nickel. Nickel is correct. That's our buzzer. Let's go to the scoreboard. This is where we leave it this morning. In third place with 380 points, the team from Highland. In second place with 385 points, the team from Illyria Catholic. And the winner of today's academic challenge with 580 points, it's the team from Lakewood. What a game. What a game. All of you. Be sure to join us next time. We will be featuring teams from Firelands, Glen Oak, and Western Reserve. It was a good one today. Thanks for being with us. I am Rob Powers, and we'll see you right back here next week. community in a citywide reading challenge. Visit clevelandreads.com to read and win. We're here at the West Park location of the Cleveland Public Library here with Nick Durda. Graphic novels are so popular with kids and adults. Why? Oh, it's because they combine uh, words and images into an easy to digest format. Um, they discuss important topics in an easier way. Um, comics aren't just superheroes like Superman. They also are nonfiction. They're manga, which comes from Japan, um, and other various original stories. For more information, it's news5cleveland.com slash CPL. <laughs> Catch the Furniture Brothers, Saturday mornings here on News 5. The new 2023 GMC Sierra AT4X is equipped to conquer the great outdoors. Or the great indoors. Welcome to the peak of premium off-roading. Or get 2.9% APR for five years, plus 1,500 purchase cash on turbo high output engine Sierra light duty elevation models. I'm Courtney Guzman, looking forward to seeing you at 5, 6, and 11.